Hey guys, it's Zara, back again with another tutorial. Today I will be talking about Adobe Portfolio. Adobe Portfolio is a cloud-based personalized website creator that is provided by Adobe. So first we'll talk about the pricing. You can choose from two different plans. The first plan is Creative Cloud Photography Plan. This plan is $9.99 per month, but this plan includes Photoshop, Lightroom, and Adobe Portfolio. I think this one is a great deal. And the second plan is for $52.99. This plan includes every app ever built by Adobe. But the great news is, for students and teachers, y'all can get the Creative Cloud's all app plan for just $19.99. All you have to do is sign up using your .edu email and you're good to go. Now let's look at the program itself. So just click on edit your website. I already have an account on Adobe, so you might have to create an account. You don't have to pay until you're satisfied with your website. You have to actually pay when you want to publish your website. Just click on create new website. Adobe provides two different kinds of websites that we can make. One is a gallery of work, which is a multiple page portfolio, and one is a splash page, which is a single page website. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we would be using a splash page. So just click on it. You can choose from three different layouts. I really like image left layout, so I'm going to choose that. You can choose whichever one that, that suits your style. As you can see, this is really bare, and so now we're going to customize it. I'm going to upload a picture of clouds that I took. And then, now I'm going to add my brand color. What you have to do is you just click on this little pen, and then here you include background color, and then click on this little box, and then just put your color, whichever color you like. Okay, done. Now I'll customize the heading. I'm gonna use my brand font, so I'll just highlight the text. Just go right here, click manage web fonts, and then find the font that I like to use, which is Futura, and then click on it. I've already added the font, so just click done, and then I'm gonna capitalize my name. About Adobe Portfolio is it it's really foolproof. They made it really easy for everyone to use. So now I'm going to edit this button. This button would take the visitors to my original portfolio website. So I'm just gonna click on edit button and then I'm gonna put my portfolio URL right here and then change the text of the button visit portfolio portfolio and done the good thing about this feature is that you can customize the button however much you want to you can change the radius of the button you can change the padding if you were creating this website using html you would have to code everything right here here you can click on different options and you can have the button that you like i'm gonna keep it as is i like the button with the black background and white text on it now i'm going to add my social profiles here i'll just add my for right now i'll just add my linkedin because i wanted to keep this tutorial short but you can add all of your social media profiles so i'm gonna add my linkedin just enter the url and here you go you can see it's right here this looks really empty right now so i'm gonna add more features um you can click on this plus sign and you can add anything from here oh the really good feature about Adobe Portfolio is that you can import your Lightroom projects. I really like this feature about Adobe Portfolio, but I think I'm going to add a contact form so people can leave their information if they would like to contact me. Now I'll add some text here. I'll just copy paste my about from my page. I'm not going to put the entire thing. I'll just add my description right here and then I'll change the font to times new roman and then i want to change the color i don't really like the gray on my background color so i'll change it to black 
and then done. I don't really like this LinkedIn right in the middle of the page, so I'm going to move this. In order to move certain features, you have to click on this pen, reorder page content. I'm going to move the social icons below the contact form and save new order. See, we moved it down. What I'm going to do now is add my copyright state. Oh, now I'm going to paste it right here. I'm going to change the color because as I told you before, the background and the gray color are conflicting with each other. So I'm going to change it to black and I'm going to change the font now. So manage fonts, my Adobe fonts, future bold, done. Why oh, didn't? Okay, this looks good. If you want to publish the website, you can click right here. But I'm going to show you another important feature on here. As you can see, these are all the other features that Adobe Portfolio provide. You can connect your own domain or, or you can purchase your own domain name or you can use the one that it provided by Adobe Portfolio. For right now, if you're a beginner, just use the one that Adobe Portfolio has provided so you don't have to pay extra for it. The great thing about Adobe Portfolio is the search optimization. So you can enter your metadata keywords right here. And you can even connect to Google Analytics if you have one to track the analysis of your page. So I'm going to click done now. So now I'll just show you what the web page would look like if I would publish. I won't publish it right now. But just click on preview. The great thing about Adobe Portfolio is that it optimizes the web for all the different devices. So this is for a computer. This is what it would look like vertically on a phone. This is what it would look like on an iPhone horizontally. So yeah, you can check out all these features. You can publish site right here. See, it's publishing. As you can see right here, the site has been published. You can always add new features to your site and republish it. I'm going to end this video right here. But this is just one of the many videos I would be creating on this topic. So don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the bell icon so you never miss an update from my channel.